So did Reese's really do anything wrong? By now, if you enter sweepstakes, you've probably seen an article or seen on the news that an attorney has come out and talked against the current Reese's promotion, actually their previous couple, because they were all very, very similar. A lot of you guys sent this to me, 40 some to be exact, and it's been talked about endlessly in Discord. <clears throat> I talk about it a little bit in tonight's issue, but the reality is, is eventually it's just gonna get tied up in court. Reese's and Mars Corp will eventually figure out if they wanna deal with it or if they just wanna make it go away and probably you know, settle by sending pretty much everyone who fills out their information a coupon, which is fully what I expect and that will be a couple years down the line. And they'll move on. They'll either stop doing promotions or they'll change the way they do promotions. Nothing's ever an issue till someone makes it an issue. I talk about that the whole point of what I put on I win is I really try and evaluate all these things that come into play, judging agencies, who's following rules, who's handpicking winners, when random's not random. And that's really how I decide what puts, what to put on I win. And I think that's very different than many other sites and, and most freebie sites because most of them are just, just trying to get clicks and they'll brag, you know, if, if you go to a site and it says, you know, posted X amount of sweeps today, or you know, we have X amount of sweeps posted, in reality, they probably don't know what they're doing as far as sweepstakes. They're just trying to post as many as possible and letting you figure it out and you choose. Where I kind of do the opposite. I post probably one of the, the least of, of the bigger sites, but you shouldn't have to go to iWin and just scroll and scroll and scroll till you find one or two to enter. Everything that's on there should be very winnable and very good. You know, I've seen what other sites post and Unfortunately, probably a third of them aren't even real sweeps and they don't know any different. They just, someone's given something away, so let's put it on the site. Uh, and you know, you can enter it and figure it out. And if your information's not safe, it's not safe. That's not really what iWin does. And I think most of you guys know that, uh, who follow me, follow my page, and who are members of iWin. So how's this gonna play out with Reese's? I don't know. You know, I don't know. That, that's my guess is that it's going to get tied up in a court eventually. Um, we've all entered the Reese's one. We all know that, you know, you can enter by mailing in for codes or, or purchasing. I, I don't have one of them. I was hoping to have one of them handy. Maybe, maybe next week I'll try and get one and show you exactly what they're talking about. So, but moving on to other things, you can read more about that on in this week's issue of I Win. I just got back from Memphis. Memphis hosted a mini convention last week. Shout out to Joe and Angela who handled it. Um, it was really great to see so many new people that I haven't personally met yet. I know a lot of the people at conventions are the same people who go to convention year after year after year. Well, this one was a little different because it was in Memphis, it was a mini, uh, so it was nice to actually meet and greet some of you guys that I've never met before. Uh, thanks for coming up and thanks for all the kind words about I win and of course being members. And hopefully we, you know, we'll get a couple new members out of it. Uh, on the same subject to conventions, I know some of you guys are disappointed because North Carolina is holding their mini next March and they are on a waiting list already. Within days, they went on a waiting list. The good news is they're looking at options of possibly adding some more spaces or changing some things around so that more people can come. I can't make any promises. It's not my convention. I'm not hosting. I have no say in who uh, gets in and does not, but they are looking at that and hopefully um, hopefully, maybe some of you guys that missed out early on will, uh, will still get to join. Uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about is what do you, what do, you do when you know, when, when something, um, something goes wrong with a sweep and, you know, you, you don't know if they picked winners or, uh, you know, the entry page doesn't work or it ended early or it's still taking <laughs> entries and it said it ended a week ago. Um, what do you, what do you do? And this goes back to what I was saying about I win and I don't dwell on this stuff. I kind of enter and move on, enter and move on but I make mental notes of it. And I, sometimes I actually make written notes of it. And I'm looking to see 
patterns. If I see patterns and I see that, hey, you know what? Nobody knows winning from this sponsor or this judging agency. So I'm making those notes and trying to pass that information along to members. That's also helping me determine what to put on the site and what not to. We all see things that kind of raise our eyebrows and go, what's exactly going on or what went on with this sweep? Um, if it's a one-off here or there, so be it, aka Heinz. But if it's a pattern and we see it happening regularly, then all of a sudden we're gonna have that information. We're going to maybe avoid that sponsor or that judging agency because we know that things are not always on the up and up. It's hard to figure it all out and sometimes it's a little bit of a guessing game, but after doing this for 15 plus years, you kind of learn what to look for and what not to look for. And hopefully that's why you're members of Iowa Contest. That's why you subscribe and get all that information to help you make the best decisions for your entering and most important, your winning. See you next week.